This video is going to be the ultimate guide on how to play NES games on your Wii U. This is going to include how to get the app on your virtual Wii, how to get the channel on the virtual Wii as well, how to get cheats, as well as how to download and get the covers to show up on your app. This guide is not going to include how to get the games, I'm not allowed to show you that. But if you want, I have links in my Discord if you wanted to join and find out there. And this guide is also not going to include how to get the Wii U channel. That's going to be a separate video, so subscribe and stay tuned for that video coming out shortly after this one. Now all you need is a homebrewed Wii U. You'll need your virtual Wii homebrewed as well. But if you followed my guide on how to homebrew your Wii U, you'll have everything set up ready to go. So starting off, we need to get the downloads. So click the link in the description. It'll take you to this WeeBrew page for FCE Ultra GX. And this page, it will give you all the information you need about the app itself. It tells you all the features of what kind of controllers you can use, Wii U gamepad support uh, with homebrew injection. But anyways, back at the top of the screen on the right side, click on the download link and it should take you to the releases page. Here we're going to download FCE Ultra GX 3.5.2. Now for the Wii U, we're going to get the VWii channel installer. Make sure you select this one and not the uh, the Wii one. So make sure it says VWii in front of it. So VWii channel installer. Click it to download. Now you can also get the cheat files here, but I would suggest getting them from our next link just because the naming wise. You will need an extraction software. I use WinRAR and it's free. And now go to the next link in the description. It should take you to this uh, internet archive page. And here we're gonna download the covers. So if you click on RAR, it'll have covers and setup, uh, but we're gonna get the 2D covers here. You can get any one you want and I'll show you how to set it up for each one. So just click on it and it should download as well. Now this is for 986 games, so it's fairly large. If you wanted to, you could simply pick and choose the ones you want out of this download and go from there it won't take up take up as much space now you can also get the cheat files here uh, there's 722 so for most most games but maybe not all so just click on that one and download it but anyways once those are downloaded open up your SD card and uh, let's get it set up so here's my SD card I used to mod my Wii U let's just go to my downloads here and we're gonna get the FCE Ultra GX app just click on it open up the WinRAR file just highlight FCE UGX and apps and drag it onto the root of your SD card. Once it transfers over, just exit out of there. Open up the VWE channel installer. You can open up the README here. It tells you the requirements. You need iOS 58 to use this channel. But again, if you use my homebrew guide, we patch the iOS 58 on our Wii U's. So we're ready to go. But we don't need the README text, so just grab this apps folder and drag it onto the root of your SD card. Close that, open up your cheat files, and open up this README text again if you want to read about it, but we don't need it. Go into the FCE UGX folder on your root of your SD card, and just you'll see, and you'll see a cheats folder here. All you're gonna do is just drag the full cheats folder again. If you wanted to get it for specific games, just grab it and drag it on. But I'm gonna, just going to do all of it in case I add any more games in the future. So I'm just going to grab this cheats folder, drag it on to where my other cheats folder is, and it should just join in with that one. So it's transferred over. It should look like that. And now we're going to do our covers. So open up your NES 2D covers or whichever one you downloaded. And if you uh, go into it, you should see it's again that whole pack of all the games but what we're gonna do on our SD card go into that same folder FCE UGX create a new folder call it covers go into this folder and drag the NES 2D covers into there once it's in there we're gonna change the name to something something similar just rename it and just call it 2D and if you have other ones, say you have the 3D covers as well, you'll be able to. You won't be able to see both at the same time, but you will have the option to pick which folder that it shows. And I'll show you how to do that on the Wii U. But all you have to do for that one is just, you know, transfer them on like we did with the 2D ones and call it 3D, and you'll be able to specify which one you want. But they do take up some space. If you see properties here, this. Just the covers alone are 70 megabytes, so it's up to you if you want to fill up your SD card with that. But 
I'm just gonna do the 2D covers. Now it's time to set up our ROMs. So go into the ROMs folder and here, if you have any backed up ROMs, you can throw it in here. Um, I have I have a few that I'll toss in here. So notice the titles here. You don't have to extract it, but you can. So let's I'll extract here for Donkey Kong. And it's just a .nes file. Both of them work, zip and NES. You don't need the Vim's layer text or the RAR file of uh, the one you extracted. But notice the title names here. We got Super Mario Bros. 3 USA Rev 1. So let's go to covers. Oops. Go into here and search Mario. As you can see, it's Super Mario Bros. 3 with USA in the brackets. It doesn't have Rev 1. So we're going to change our ROM name to match the cover name. So go into your ROMs rename it and just get rid of that rev one if you have that and make it look the same as your cover file otherwise um, the emulator won't know which game to match the cover up with if they're not named the same as you can see donkey kong with world in the brackets i think that's spelled the same so some of them might be pretty uh easy oh nope rev one so we're gonna we're gonna rename that one as well just take out the rev one and I'm just gonna do that for Legend of Zelda but when you're done uh, here's what your SD card should look like in your apps folder you should have FCEU GX with these three files you should have FCEU GX channel installer here with those files and back on the root you should have FCEU GX folder with cheats covers ROMs and saves now when you plug in and run the emulator on your Wii U, you may see more folders like screenshots, maybe a couple others, but this is where all your content for the emulator go. Also forgot to mention, but your cheats also have to be named the same as the ROM as well. So once you've double checked your SD card, we're ready to head over to the Wii U. I'll meet you there. I'll meet you on the virtual Wii since that's where we're going. <laughs> so once you're over onto your virtual Wii, go into your homebrew channel and let's get the app set up once your apps loads we're looking for fce ultra gx and i like to open up the emulator just to make sure that it works before installing the channel so load the emulator up and it should look like this uh, cover is not showing yet i will show you how to set that up after but we're going to exit we just needed to make sure it worked and let's go install the virtual Wii channel so back in your homebrew channel go to FC Ultra GX VWE channel. Also, did you know you can pop these bubbles in the homebrew channel? <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Okay, back on track. FC channel installer. Load it up. And it should give you a prompt. Do you want to install this channel? Click install. Should be pretty quick and successfully installed. Press OK. It should take us back to the homebrew channel. And then let's meet back on the system menu and make sure that it installed properly. And there it is. NES or Nintendo. Yeah. FCE Ultra GX. <laughs> it's a pretty cool looking channel, but uh, let's start it up and finish setting up the actual emulator itself. So in here, here's your ROMs. If they're not showing up um, and you're seeing just your other folders, just go into where your ROMs are located. So in your FCE, UGX, ROMs, and they should be there. Now we're gonna get the covers to show up. So go into your settings, go to menu, and change this preview image to covers. Go back, go to saving and loading. And you can change this if you like, but um, I like to change this to SD. It just knows where to go, it doesn't have to auto detect. But go to your covers folder and we're gonna specify which one to go into. So as you can see, it's FCUGX slash covers, but we put our covers into a folder. So click slash and then two, make sure the capitalization is right as well. So 2D, that's what my folder is named. If you did 3D, it'll be 3D and so on. But press okay, go back, go back again and there they are so it looks really cool but let's test out a game and see if it works let's try super mario bros 3 
All right, here we go. So we're playing, but I'm gonna show you how to save and load and uh, anything else you need to know and how to run the cheats as well. I don't know if there's any cheats for this, but uh, just press the home button to pause it and you can click save and you can just say new state and it'll save it. And as you can see, there is our file right there. If you wanna load it up, click load and select it. And for cheats, just go into game settings Go into cheats and then uh, here is our cheat pack for Super Mario Bros. 3. So you can get one up for each coin. Let's turn that on. Invincibility. Yeah, let's turn that one on as well. Pause it. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> we gotta get a coin. Oh, we're already at 99 lives. Oh wait, what is that? That's not invincibility. Or is it just... Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, but anyways, you can see that it works, uh, so you can have fun doing that. But in case your cheats aren't working, go back onto your SD card and make sure that they are spelt the same as the ROM as well, just like the covers. But anyways, that's it for the video. Um, if you found it helpful, make sure to give it a like. It really helps us out my channel. And uh, if you found it really helpful, you're always welcome to uh, use the super thanks below the video. But I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Did you, did you see that? It didn't, that's a rip off.